Hey you! Yes, you, watching this video. Do you want to own a piece of scribbler? Only not a lock of hair or blood or flesh or anything else that will get you in trouble with the law? Well now you can, with t-shirts, hoodies, tote bags and mugs featuring Obab Scribbler at her Teespring store. You know you want to. I shall now stop talking in third person and send you onto the video. Be lovely to each other and enjoy the show! Ponytails. Red by Scribbler. Damn ponies. Tomorrow night, we're gonna be late! Rainbow Dash's voice took on a high-pitched whine, not unlike a north wind blowing through the cracks of a particularly firm oak door. You say that like it's a bad thing. Anon crossed his arms. I already told you I'm not going. You can't miss a pinky party! And yet, look at me doing it. Shifting one foot and bending his knee with aplomb, he flicked the door shut. Or at least he would have, if a purple aura hadn't held it open. Anon... I'm not sure you understand. In contrast to Rainbow Dash, Twilight Sparkle's voice was flat as a shadow on a hot pavement. You don't miss a pinky party. Damn ponies. Look, last time I went, she threw so much confetti at me that I choked and had to go to the emergency room. The time before that, she put the pinata at my head hide and Rainbow Smash over there nearly caved in my skull. The time before that, she and R.D. added hot sauce to the punch for a prank without asking if I was allergic first. And it's not even like Ponyville Hospital is particularly able to treat humans, you know. He pinched the spot between his eyes that always seemed to throb when a party rolled around. I'm not going. Um. Fluttershy looked up at him with large doe eyes. Oh dear. But what? Pinky tried so hard this time to make sure you had a good time. Are you staring at me? What? No! She squeaked and hid behind her mane. I'd never do that. N not to you. It's true though, Sugar Cube. Applejack spat out the stalk of grass she had been chewing on for the entire prior conversation. Pinkie Pie felt right sorry about all those other times. She honestly just wants you to have a good time at your own welcome to our world party. It's the first one she's ever thrown for. Someone like you. Uh, human? You don't look like any of the humans I met at Canterlot High. Twilight muttered, eyes narrowed suspiciously. Twilight, we ain't having that conversation now. Anon, Pinky wouldn't keep trying if it weren't important. We've all been through this. There went Twilight's flat tone again, though none of the others seemed to notice the cynical edge to her voice. Sometimes it seemed like she was the only sane one in the bunch. When she wasn't strapping him down to test his brain waves or trying to steal blood and other bodily fluid samples to prove he was some subspecies of Homo sapien. Damn ponies. It's best just to get it over with, she said bluntly. Otherwise, Pinky will keep trying. She leaned heavily on the final two words, invoking images in his mind that he quickly shook away. She bought a whole three barrels of sweet up lake or cider, especially for this party! Rainbow Dash's wings flared. A globule of drool splatted on the cobblestones. The alcohol variety! It's true. Applejack nodded. I delivered him to Sugar Cube Corner this morning. She had to jump through a passel of hoops with Mr. and Mrs. Cake just to be allowed to have alcohol on the premises with the twins around. So she paid for their whole family to go to Funland over in Trottenham for the weekend and closed up shop early today to get ready. She leveled a gaze at Anon that was just short of a glare. She paid for the whole trip for the whole weekend, including train and hotel just so she could throw you a party you might actually like. She's making quesadillas. Twilight's whole body shuddered. Ugh, because they're your favorite food. Quesadillas, booze, and no kids underfoot. Anon repeated. Who'll be at this party? Just us. Fluttershy whispered. Um, if that's okay with you, you said you prefer small social gatherings. For a cold second, he was tempted. He was oh so tempted. 
He had tasted Sweet Apple Acres alcoholic cider once before. It was like nectar of the gods. His mouth watered just at the mere memory of getting drunk in the barn with Big Mac Caramel and Grand Pear, and Granny Smith and Sugar Bell finding them in a dazed clump of hangovers and tankards the next morning. It had been totally worth it. He sighed and dragged his hands down his face. <sighs> Fine, I'll go. Fluttershy beamed through the crack in her mane. Twilight gave him a curt but approving nod. Applejack produced another grass stalk from somewhere. Rainbow Dash just grabbed his hand and started dragging him down the street. Hey, whoa! I'm not wearing shoes! Doesn't matter! No pony wears shoes except the princesses! You'll fit right in! Damn ponies. By the way, Sugar Cube. Applejack trotted easily beside him. This is a surprise party. How ponies could make air quotes without fingers still amazed him. Pinky thinks you're unaware of what's coming. We just thought we better make sure you came at all. Twilight finished. After what happened the last couple of times. Anon clenched his teeth and thought valiantly of sweet golden cider and sticky cheesy Mexican food. Sugarcube Corner loomed before them. How could a place that looked like it had been baked to life by the bastard love child of Hershey and Cadbury loom? A white face appeared briefly at the window, smiled, and disappeared again. Clearly, Rarity was in on this too. His steps faltered. Actually, you know, I'm not so sure about this. Too late! Rainbow Dash released his hand, performed a tight loop, and barreled into him from behind, propelling him the last few steps up to the doorway. Strung across it was a candy pink banner with a legend, Welcome to Equestria, Anon. Guys, I don't... Purple Magic swung open the door. In, please. Um, please look surprised, Un... Um, happy? For Pinkish Sugar Cube? Enough talk! Cider time! Rainbow shoved him again, and he staggered in. Whoa! Ah! A burst of streamers, sans confetti, rained down on him from above. A few hooked on his ears, giving him a brief appearance of a Hasidic rabbi. More flopped onto his head and into his eyes. He brushed them away to clear his vision, only to have it immediately filled with a wide, dark barrel of a... Was that a gun? A very big gun? Surprise! Pinkie Pie's yell came from somewhere behind the gaping maw, followed by the fizz of a match. Ah, shit. The world flashed white, and then candy-colored, and then very, very dark. <laughs> Anon clutched his chest and keeled over. Celestia, sweet ass, Pinkie Pie! Rainbow Dash's voice was close and preceded by the heavy clomp of an emergency landing. You blasted him in your party cannon? What? I blasted all of you plenty of times! I blasted Rarity and Mudfight as one day when we went to Manhattan! Pinkie protested. Yes, I remember, dear. But we're ponies. Rarity replied. I think we've learned by now that we're more than just a little hardier than humans. Um, is he alright? Fluttershy quavered. He's not moving! He's not moving! Panic fringed Rainbow Dash's words. Is he breathing? He's not breathing! Her hooves danced, creating a staccato beat against the wooden floor. Twilight! Twilight! Make some room. Give him some air. Twilight instructed tersely. Anon, can you hear me? Anon! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! I didn't think you was that fragile! He held his chest before he done fell over. Did he have a heart attack? Should I run for the doctor, Twilight? I can get Dr. Stable here in 10 seconds flat! I'm sorry! Oh my... <sighs> At long last, Anon let go of the breath he had been holding. It rushed from his burning lungs in a glorious whoosh, wafting Twilight's mane up. She snorted and reared back slightly. <coughs> a frown creased her brow. <sighs> Surprise! He's fine. She deadpanned. All at once, two giant balls of blue and pink fuzz locked onto a non from either side. He clawed at his throat, but Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash's weapon-grade hugs were locked, loaded, and impenetrable. Can't breathe. They released him, though reluctantly. He rubbed at his neck. Um, surprise? He tried again. Pinkie Pie grinned broadly. <laughs> you got as good, Anon! Epic prank, dude! 
Rainbow Dash leaned in close. If you ever do anything like that again, I will personally kick your furless butt from here to Cloudsdale and back again. Understand? Uh, sure. Dashie, he surprises at his own surprise party! That's like, surprise section! Pinky bounced in place. Well, yeah, I guess. Rainbow Dash still looked grumpy. Tell you what, Dash. Anon rasped. You can have the first drink, okay? Her eyes shone. All is forgiven. She vanished in a multicolored blur toward the cider barrels in the corner. Twilight trotted up to where he was still sat on the floor. You know, she said mildly, I can actually induce heart attacks. It's a pretty simple spell, though it does require some degree of skill and nuance. And, you know, knowledge of a species biology. If you make even a tiny mistake, a heart can just... I don't know. She slid her eyes sideways. Explode. Right inside your chest. He gulped. Ugh. Duly noted. She smiled and headed for the side of the room totally opposed to the quesadillas. How you known? Applejack held up a plate. She had crowned hers with fresh slices of apple. I could get to lock these things after all. Indeed. Rarity had decorated her plate with tiny bows that dangled from the edges. Even tinier diamonds sparked at the center of each perfect ribbon. With the right flair and eye for beauty, they could even be attractive! Anon sighed. Ugh. Damn ponies.